Okay, today we're playing with Puno Kata. Bryce is going to be demonstrating. Okay. There's obviously lot, lots of different things that uh, this technique teaches and also things to be that we can learn from it, some dangers. So, Scott, do you want to talk a little bit about some of those? Dangers? Danger number one. Even punched. So we're gonna to need to move. And ideally what I want is that reaction. Getting his body off balance. Danger number two. Danger number two is getting hit. So I don't want to be here anymore. So the cool part of this is even if I mess this part up, because I'm moving in this way, he throws his punch. I've messed up this part, right? Because he's aiming for my face, my face is no longer there. Right? So, start over. That's danger number two. So now, then we can take the hip all up together. So, the reality is with no hands at all, I avoid and I avoid. The hands are next to the icing on the cake. One more. Okay, pause there for a second. So um, that that downward Geiran Ukinagash strike is designed to do what? I mean, you showed it already, but just let's let's see see what this is ha what's happening right here. For the punch, and I move. For the punch, and I move. He's nice and strong, so stable, all the stuff, right? He's not strong and stable anymore. It yep. makes his balance, it breaks the hips, it does, puts him in a bad position. Yeah, so that's the very first objective when you're doing this, when you do the Gera Nukinagash is, number one, don't be there, like you said, you use your body to move out of the way. If you're not doing Gera Nukinagash, you're out of the way. So I'll show that one more time without a strike. All right, boom. So that's first, and then second, you just add the strike in there, which then takes part of his balance, which then creates the opening for the final Boshiken to Koe right there. All right, so all together. So another thing to, to kind of consider is my, is my Kamai, right? You can see from my Kamai here, I'm kind of closing off the head area, I'm creating the space where I want him to fit into with his attack. Does that make sense? So this is the first kind of thing to think about. And I'm just kind of, instead of being in this, you know, like really traditional command, I'm trying to make it a little bit more lively, a little bit more realistic. So when he comes in, my first move is to just not be there, but I've also realigned my strength to his weak line. So instead of just going straight back, where we're strength on strength, you know, this is pretty basic for a lot of people, but for those who are new to this art, this is what I'm doing. I'm realigning myself here, so now my strength is based on his weak line. So if I come in, it's really easy to take him off balance. So that's the first thing. The second thing is because his hand's up high, it allows me to kind of bake his attack down low, but then it also allows me to then just drop this down nicely because it's up high so it can drop down low for the strike. From here, boom, and I got this temporary, keep, thing to keep in mind is this is very temporary. He's not gonna be staying in, in this position for very long, right? So I need to immediately move in, because I'm coming forward, I wanna lead with my hand, so I'm just putting, after I strike, I immediately come in here. And then that's, so if he tries to punch, uh, it's his punching will actually make it worse for him. Uh, and if you're moving through this too, that punch is, is this, if he's gonna punch a second punch, it's gonna come quick, and you're already moving. So that's the, the other thing to keep in mind. Another a way to approach this is potentially just kind of going in here and, and you know, since you know it's there, 
You can also, if you feel like you didn't capture him very well and you feel in danger, here's another option. So like you can say you mess up and you didn't hit, like, oh crap, boom, you got to be, use this other hand that's alive, use it to either parry, block, stuff as you come in with the basic bush chin decoy, which is right in here, and you're just driving down on his weak line, which is right over here, and I want to drive all that energy down into that point. To, and I usually, you know, the common mistake is we forget to step through, right? So we want to step through, keep into the target, one, cover, from here. I'm going to step deep in through here, and that makes it nice and easy. All right.